long time, there has been this really remarkable and refreshing shift in chief executives, board members, and white men engaging in diversity, equity, and inclusion. Now, these folks have typically opted out or not felt that they've had a place in DEI work. I want to share about a company called PackSize. PackSize is a great example that you don't have to take this journey alone. PackSize is a 20-year company based in Salt Lake City, Utah, and they have 600 employees and growing in many, well, uh, many international offices. So they actually specialize in automated packaging and packaging experience. And so they're saving customers costs in a sustainable way. Well, in 2019, the global leadership team of PackSize did an engagement study. And from that engagement study, they took two key action items. They said, we need to improve in diversity, equity, inclusion, and leadership transparency. Now, the PackSize global leadership team is all white men, except for one of the original founders. And in that spirit of leadership transparency, they said, you know, it'd be really great if we had a DEI consultant kind of guide us in this path. And so they called me up and I was really honored to join the journey with them. So before I share with you the approach that we took at PackSize, I want to show you the results of their second engagement study in 2021. Now the reason why we do an engagement study is that engagement correlates with bottom line performance. In this time when there's only 1.5 unemployment rate, Right? Companies are looking more than ever on how to retain their valued employees. What's also interesting about this is that the engagement study was done independently by Gallagher. And the way that Gallagher does their study is they create a highly customized norm. So they take the working groups and the departments that make up pack size and they say, okay, we're going to compare you to the other organizations that have this same type of working groups. So pack size has a software group, manufacturing group, Right, a field engineer group, they're compared, they create the norm from other organizations that have a similar group. So we're like apples to apples. Okay, so what were those results? Well, after two years, PackSize is outperforming 68% of organizations across all their survey items. Okay, the dark green shows the 2019 results, the light green shows the improvement in two years. This is a 24% increase. Of the actual engagement category items, pack size is outperforming 74% of organizations. Okay? This is a 57% increase. These are not incremental results, right? This is what leapfrogging looks like. Okay, so when we view all of the categories of engagement, we see these results. And the bar showed the improvement from 2019 to 2021. What I really want you to notice above the fact that they improved in every single category, look at the most improved, very much tied to their leadership action planning, diversity, equity, inclusion, leadership team are at the top of improvement. The Gallagher consultant never met the person before. He said it's uncommon to see DEI as a consistently leading category for improved overall survey performance. And for multiple categories, to experience almost half a point jump is impressive. So for those of you who have been really watching what's been happening with social unrest and all of the social issues that we've been really dealing with since the pandemic, these are the results across demographics. And it's really exciting, right? Any company, this is what they want to see. The orange bars is the percent of improvements since 2019 in all demographic categories. But I also want you to notice that all demographic categories increase. So this work is benefiting the majority as well, not just the minority. It's great to see. Okay, so remember that engagement correlates with the bottom line measures and turnover, for example, being one of those. So the 2021 study showed that the percentage of employees who have not seriously considered leaving pack size has actually increased. Right, this is happening during the Great Resignation. Gallup estimates that it, the cost to replace a valued employee is conservatively half to two times that person's annual salary. Right, so definite bottom line benefits. 
So let's look at the hiring rate of what's going on between 2020 and 2021 at tax size. So this is the North American business unit in one year. The rate of women increased in, across the entire unit and also in leadership. And the rate increased for underrepresented ethnicities across the unit and in leadership. Now, pack size is growing at a rate of about 20% every year. So if you do the math, right, you actually do want to see an increasing rate in women and underrepresented ethnicities because as the company is growing your overall percentage, you don't want it to go down, right? All right. So let's talk about how pack size achieved these results. You're probably thinking, they started hiring for diversity, then they formed affinity groups in their organization. Right? These affinity groups did community projects in the community for underrepresented communities. They brought in DEI speakers, panels, and they had an executive champion. You know what this looks like in a company, right? It's usually the woman on the executive team, right? <laughs> traditional DEI approach. Lots of companies do it. It's old. Okay? size did not do this. What they did is, I'll call this the transformative DEI approach. The global leadership team worked together to build an aligned vision that's authentic to their business and their mission. Then, they worked on building leadership skills. Right? So, I've been working at PackSize for over 18 months. I still meet regularly with the global leadership team. They show up every time. They've never asked not to be, to be excused. Such a different engagement than we normally see in companies where executives are just begging to get out of DEI sessions, right? Then, you're able to see these shifts in behavior that are based on the values, right? That shows up in performance data, engagement studies like I just showed you and in our daily interactions. And I wish I had more time to share some really great stories that are happening there, which opens up their organization to innovative experiences. Okay. So here is some of the work that was done in each of the areas. The purple is where Inclusion Pro was involved. The green was work that was independently done by Path Size, right, showing increased capacity across the organization. Now it's going to be super tempting, right, to take a photo, copy and paste and say, let's just do that in our company. The problem is, is that the transformative DEI approach is fully realized only when an entire leadership team comes into alignment. Okay? So what PackSize really did was create a set of experiences for their company that was customized to their culture and to their specific needs. So that list on, the, on your right is not going to look the same for every single company. So it's a distinct shift. All right. This is the living, breathing vision that they created. I'm not going to read it out loud, but one thing you'll note is that this is built off their existing values of sustainability, creativity, leadership, and continuous improvement. It's stuff they already believe in. And what's really cool about this case study is it really illustrates the power of action planning combined with intentional results. As business students, you're going to get a lot of this, right? This is what it looks like in the actual workplace. You are welcome to download this free ebook. It also has a couple of other case stories of Intermountain Healthcare and USANA. And of course, you're always welcome to reach out to me here. Thank you so much for having me.